tough yards than this young man. This defense better be ready because this kid is a bruiser. And now it's time for the Coke Zero coin toss, a winning combination with Coke taste and zero calories. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. And there's the opening kick of the season. He's to the 10. And he just got drilled. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. They'll go to work at the 33-yard line. We've got a first and 10. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. They go with the run. They bring him down in the backfield. Well, folks, we just saw what can happen if you don't pick up all your blocks. Man, that was an ugly nightmare from the beginning. It's second down now, 14 to go. All on their own 29. The quarterback's in the gun with three receivers in the set. They go with the run. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That was one ugly play. Not if you're on defense. They thought that play was absolutely gorgeous. Third down and a couple miles here. Ball on their own 25. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. Out to the tailback, and he dropped it. He tried to force that one in. It should have been intercepted. He can't be thrown into coverage like that. Fourth down. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he has it on the corner. Tackle at the 41. He almost took that thing all the way. Boy, that was nicely executed there, wasn't it, Coach? Yo, Kirk, did you see the lane they created there? Was that a nice job or what? Going with the shotgun here. Scrambling around. He launches one for the end zone. Knocked away. Oh, boy. He couldn't hold on for the touchdown. That would have been a spectacular reception. Second and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Archie lines up in the shotgun. Four receivers wide. They'll bring him down around the 26-yard line. That's how you pick apart the zone coverage. You hit him on an out route and pick up the first. Now look out. I'm telling you, this defense might try to hide a guy in the flats and jump that pass next time. Four wide. Deep pass to the end zone. Throws it and it's caught for the touchdown. What a great run after the catch by the wide receiver. You know his teammates have got to be fired up after that play. I was thinking the same thing, Scooter. And he tacks on the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Boise State is lining up to kick this one off. Kicks off. Across the 30. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punt. They'll start this drive at the 36. We've got a first and ten from the gun. Throws it in a hurry. And he's brought down at the 38-yard line. Interesting call. Defense came with the heat that time. Problem was they couldn't quite get to the quarterback. And when you can't quite do something, that means the other guys will probably have a big play. 
And you're right. That pass was good for a bunch of yards that time. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. That ball was thrown high. Yeah, but this receiver knew he could jump up and get it. Great play. This is why this kid is all everything. There aren't many guys that can make plays like that. There are three wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Run, left side. He makes it to the 28-yard line. So the running back comes away with a short gain on the play, and he also gets a first down. He came away with about three yards on that play, and he did his job. He picked up the first down. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. That's a great tackle at the 14-yard line. Nice little pitch and catch with a wide out. The quarterback and receiver spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice just working on their timing, and right there it paid off. First down, 10 to go. Pistol set. Takes a handoff inside and stopped immediately. A two-yard run by the halfback. Great tackle there by the freshman. Yeah, he didn't give the ball carrier any chance to cut up field. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. Looks like the defense is only going to pressure with three linemen. Look at the throw. What a play, and that is first and goal. They'll get the first down. The reason why he got so much room to run was because the defense didn't contain him. Yep, coach, he made the correct decision to tuck it and go. The defense is lined up with an abundance of DBs. I count seven on the field. And down he goes around the four-yard line. Good play by the defense. They broke up the option before it got started. I'll tell you what, the quarterback has to be more decisive than that. Either get it to the back of the outside or take the ball, find a seam, and cut a field. There are seven defensive backs on the field in this defense. Here's the option, and they make the stop at the six. Well, the defense really put the clamps down on that run. Boy, Brad, great effort up front by that defense. It's third down. Let's see if they can put it in from six yards out. The student section's going crazy. And he's tackled just outside the goal line. And he tucked that one in for about five yards. Just get out there and make a play. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. They come out in a goal line set. Gives it to the back. Touchdown. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. The extra point to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Missouri lines up for the kickoff. Kicks off. Taken at the five. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. This kid was talking about how well he's developed a connection with the receivers over the past couple of weeks. It really showed on their last drive. Here's the long ball, left side. And he's brought down at the 33. Now that's how you play throw and catch. Well, guys, this is a simple timing route. The quarterback threw it to a spot, and the receiver was able to run a good route and come away with a great catch.
So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. The offense didn't get the playoff in time. Dead ball. Dead ball. The way of game. Way of game. On the offense. So the delay of game will move him back a few. And I'm pretty sure the coach isn't happy with his quarterback right now. And that's his receiver who's wide open. I like how this kid can use the sideline just as well as he can make plays in the middle of the field. That's right, Kirk. They call that versatility. That's right, Coach. And so we've reached the end of quarter number one, and we're all tied up. At the end of the first quarter, the score is tied. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 19. Expect the defense to turn it up a notch here in the red zone. Little handoff. The 10 flies over the goal line for the touchdown. Boy, this kid knows how to run with the football, doesn't he? I think everybody knew it. In fact, the defensive coordinator told me last night he didn't want this guy to beat him. Well, it's going to take more than X's and O's, Kirk, to stop this guy. They got to tackle him. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Kicks it away. Across the 30. He's taken down at the 40. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. This offense needs to continue to produce on the scoreboard because they are still losing this game. Four wide. He drops back. Pass is tipped away. I'll tell you what, Kirk. If that receiver doesn't get more aggressive, this defense is going to be knocking the balls down all game long. You're absolutely right. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. And they'll bring in the goal line set for this one. Throws to the right to his fullback. How about that? I didn't see a pass coming there, Kurt. No, I thought it was going to be a run all the way. Nice call on third and short. First and, First and ten. Ball on the, Ball 50. On the 50. They line up with trips to the right. And he's got him again. The 10. And he will score. That's a pretty big play. The guys on the losing end of it need to keep their heads up, focus on making a stop during their next drive. Guys, I think we have to give credit to both the quarterback and the receiver here. The quarterback made a beautiful throw, and once the receiver made the catch, he was off to the races. And he hits the PAT. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. They line up to kick this one away. Kicks it away. tackle at the 39. This offense has found the end zone on their last two drives, and they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. Yeah, there was no lack of offense on that last drive. Yeah, they took the ball right up the field. This defense needs to find a way to slow these guys down. He wants it all. Good catch, and can this guy fly or what? I couldn't agree with you more. This kid's got to be one of the fastest guys that we've had the privilege of seeing all year.
First down. First down. On, the six, on the six, going in. Going in. They got six they got the last six time they were inside, they were inside the 20. 20. Let's see what they do here. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. The safety made the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. I recommend to the offensive coordinator a little play action and throw the fade route where the safety used to be. That's right, Lee. These guys are shooting up there when they see run, and it only takes one time to catch them out of position and take it to the house. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. The quarterback threw a pretty ball there for the touchdown. But don't forget about the catch. The receiver made one heck of a grab, too. He makes the PAT. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Boise State lines up for the kickoff. Excellent kick. Brought down out at the 27-yard line. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 27. They come out with three wide receivers. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's brought down at the 33. The receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. Very good tackle in space. A decent gain on the pass. Yo, Kirk. Good job by the quarterback here reading this play. Yeah, the defense came with a blitz, and you're right. Great job by this young quarterback of recognizing the coverage and spotting the open man. They'll give it off here. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 21-yard line. They're in the shotgun with three wide receivers. Option brought down around the 25-yard line. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. And when that kid gets a hold of you, then you usually go down. And you're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. They'll work from the shotgun. He's out of bounds right around the 16-yard line. He made the catch, and they're still going to be short. Hey, if you would have gotten some yards on first and second down, you wouldn't have needed so many on third down. Boy, that's a tricky third and long. The defense is very fortunate to prevent the first down. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends it off. Taken from the 10. Trying to go the other way now. He's taken down at the 35. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. And it was a really nice drive too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. They'll work from the shotgun. He heaves it deep. And they tackle him at the 18-yard line. Look at these numbers, fellas. Now over 200 yards passing for this quarterback. He's spreading the ball around nicely, and he's made a couple of big plays that have really helped add to that total. Well, the quarterback's playing well, but let's not forget about the pass protection. The hog molly's up front for giving him plenty of time to make good throws. That's his first pick of the year. And what a great interception it was. That can change the whole landscape of this game. It's a one-possession game right now, so every score counts. That turnover could turn out to be the difference maker.
We've got a first and ten. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. And they make the stop at the 12. He scrambled, but he didn't get much. Brad, this defense reacts too quickly for a scramble like that to work. He needs to spread them out a little bit more to try to create more room to run. Three wide receivers on the field. The quarterback in the shotgun. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. You know, having a playmaker at tight end makes those linebackers think twice before they make a move. That could be just enough time for the quarterback. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. First down. Look at the throw. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Yo, guys, that was a very dangerous pass. This quarterback better be careful. He has a tendency to force some passes, and he really forced that one. From the gun. Ready. Finds the junior. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. The cornerback was in a very good position there to make the tackle. Third and four. Ball on their own 36. And it's knocked down. And the wideout had trouble holding on there. And I'll tell you what, he was holding on for dear life there. I don't think he was concerned about the ball too much on that play. Nah. Oh, excellent hunt. Heading for the corner. Reverses his field. At the 40. And he's tackled at the 31. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. They'll go to work at the 31-yard line. Archie steps to the line of scrimmage. He has two tight ends. They go with the runner. He's taken down behind the line. Nice tackle to bring him down before he got back to the line of scrimmage. Solid effort there to break up that play. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He launches one for the end zone. End zone touchdown. That was his third touchdown of the day. Well, the quarterback's going to get a lot of credit, but I think the thing that has helped him the most back there is the protection by the offensive line. He has had plenty of time to make decisions back there in the pocket. And those decisions he's been making are the right ones, too, my friend. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Tackle at the 25-yard line. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. They'll start at the 25. First and 10. There are seven defensive backs on the field in this defense. They'll run the option. And he stopped behind the line. Hey, Coach. Linebacker sniffed that play out from the start. Yep, he wasn't going to be denied that tackle no matter who was trying to block him. Second and 11. Looks like the defense is only going to pressure with three linemen. We've reached halftime, and there's an upset on the horizon. Our score here at Bronco Stadium. Boise State, 28. Missouri, 17. Decent kick. He'll take it from the two. They'll bring him down at the 29. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 29-yard line. Offset eye formation in the backfield the middle there's a flag on the play 
He looked like he had a handful of jersey on that one. You know, you can get away with a little holding, but hey, you can't keep that. First and long. Ball on the 19-yard line. Archie is in the shotgun. Four wide formation. Chucks it deep down the right side. And he's brought down at the 24-yard line. And, fellas, that puts this receiver over the 100-yard mark. This receiver has been the focal point in this offense today. And, frankly, the defense hasn't figured out a way to slow him down. Even when he isn't open, the quarterback will still throw him the ball and just let him make a play. It really shows the trust that the quarterback has with his receiver. Feeds it to the back. He's tackled around the 14-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Straight in the middle, and he meets the defense. That'll be a gain of three yards. It looked like the rush caused some problems there, Coach. Yep, they were in there so quick that the running back was never able to get started. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. End zone, touchdown. What do you think of this quarterback, Lee? Well, he's got over 300 yards passing now, and what I like about him is his quick release. One, two, three. And even though they're comfortably in the lead, it doesn't look like they're going to stop passing the ball. And he converts the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Boise State is lining up to kick this one off. Kicks it off. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll set up shop at the 30. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. They go with a run. Here he goes. Brought down around the 40-yard line. A 10-yard gain. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. They go with a run. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. That run gives him the first down. You know, in the media conference a couple of days ago, the coach talked about how important it was for them to establish the running game. Let's see if this helps them open up the passing game in it. He's tackled around the 36-yard line. Oh, he had the defensive back on his heels. That defender didn't know if it was going to be a post, a corner, a hitch, or a streak. Nice job by the receiver of running a crisp post route, beating the man coverage, and keeping the drive alive. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. Then tell me, sweetheart, why did he try? Ha! Not a good decision at all. Away. Even a fingernail is enough sometimes to change the trajectory of the ball and break up a pass. Looked like he got a little bit more than a fingernail. Even better. They line up in the shotgun. Three wide. He drops back. Tackle at the 28-yard line. They'll get a good chunk of yards on that play, but they're still looking at fourth down. Maybe that will perk these guys up a bit and get them going on the next drive. It's a great stand on that set of downs by this defense. They gave the quarterback the underneath throw, but wouldn't let the receiver get to the sticks. Nice job. Tackle made at the 16. This quarterback acts like he doesn't even know it's fourth down out there. Did you see how calm he looked in the pocket? He showed great composure. I don't think he's done moving the ball down the field. They'll bring him down at the 11. 
The quarterback trying to make a play. Well, he did a nice job of getting some yards there on the scramble, but he needs to learn to slide to avoid those big hits. The offense lines this one up in the shotgun. Three wide receivers in the formation. Here's the option. He makes it to the nine. He holds on to it and gets maybe two yards. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Looks like the defense is only going to pressure with three linemen. Tackle for a loss. Wow, it's not often you see a safety making a play in the backfield like that. Well, these days you've got safeties playing up close to the line of scrimmage, almost like a fourth linebacker. The only way that you can keep them from cheating up is make some chances downfield. And he got it. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it. He'll return it from the six. He makes it to the 28-yard line. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. This offense has been really successful today, Kirk. Their team has a solid lead, and their scheme has worked very well for them. Yeah, and the crowd has been behind these guys the entire game. Every time I come here, I'm just amazed by how loud it gets in this stadium. And he's tackled at the 23-yard line. That was a pretty nice play by the receiver to go up and get that pass. Yeah, the pass was a little bit high, but this kid had no trouble adjusting and making a great play. He's going to try and scramble. Now he's going to run and watch out. There's a very impressive open field tackle. A big gain for the quarterback. I'll tell you what, guys, this guy's pretty athletic. Just like you when you played at the old Buckeyes team. I don't think this was a designed play, but it worked like it was. And you're right. If I'm the coach, I'd let this kid run it more. What a play, and that is first and goal. The defense looked a little lost on that one, Kirk. Yeah, they did, Brad. Nice recognition here by the quarterback to see that confusion and then take advantage of it. First and goal from the one. Expect to see something straight up the middle. They're crowding the line. On the handoff, he will score. Nothing complicated about that one, Coach. The halfback took it in for six. You're right. It doesn't have to be quantum physics to get in the end zone. It's just good execution. Here, guys, both teams are in their goal line sets, and it's hard to stop any offense when they're that close to the goal line. And he tacks on the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it. Bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. The offense ready to go again, and their last drive ended with three points. They'll start at the 25-yard line, first and 10. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. If you're going to send the middle linebacker, you better reach home. Otherwise, the quarterback will pick you apart for first downs like we just saw in that play. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Looks like the defense is only going to pressure with three linemen. Fires incomplete. Knocked away. Big time play by the corner there, coach. And that's what you call picture perfect defense. Yep, they had everyone covered well on that play, and the quarterback had to try to force it in there. Ready! And down he goes around the 48 yard line. Looked like the linebackers bit on that play fish. I didn't even know the quarterback had the ball. That's worth a yoke. It's first and 10. Five wide. Hands it off. He's tackled at the 45. Three yards there on the play. Three yard gain on the play. 
We've reached quarter number four, and right now it looks like we may have an upset. Our score here at Bronco Stadium, Boise State, 42, Missouri, 20. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 45. They're in the shotgun with three wide receivers. They'll give it off here. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. The defense has about seven defensive backs on the field. They'll throw for the first. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. It's complete, and he's taken down at the 33-yard line. What an unbelievable fourth down conversion. That was a big-time play. Heck of a job there to keep this drive going. We've got a first and 10, and this is the eighth play of the drive. The defense is lined up with an abundance of DBs. I count seven on the field. They go with a run. This flag came from the umpire, and that means this is probably holding it. Holding, holding. Only out, only out. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, Scooter, what are you doing? Kirk, my friend, that's the sound of the offense going in reverse. So the penalty puts him back for a first and long. Looks like the defense is only going to pressure with three linemen. They go with a the run. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. They got great run support from the safety position on that one. He had his eyes in the backfield that whole play. Great anticipation to stop him for a loss. The quarterback's in the gun with three receivers in the set. There was some movement on the line. Dead ball. Let's start on the offense. The lack of concentration will push the offense back. Yep, the kid was in a hurry to block someone. You got to control that. Now it's second and long after the penalty. They're showing blitz. Let's it fly. And it's incomplete. That was a dangerous throw. Oh, not a very good decision. He's got to either throw this one away or take a sack. You don't want to go back to the sideline and have a discussion with the old ball coach if that had been an interception. And out left to the running back. Tackle made at the 36. They'll get a good chunk of yards on that play, but they're still looking at fourth down. Maybe that will perk these guys up a bit and get them going on the next drive. Guys, I'm a little surprised there by the quarterback not trying to throw it deeper downfield. They needed a little bit more yardage than they got there for the first down. Looks to him again, complete. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, they had to go for it. We're at a point where there's not much time left and you got to put it all on the line. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play, but, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. They come out in a goal line set. Little handoff. There he goes! Diving for extra yardage. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think there's anybody on the field right now that could beat this guy in a foot race. I agree, Brad. He's in a class by himself when it comes to speed. And you can't coach that Kind of speed. You either got it or you don't. We've got a first and ten. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. They'll give it off here. Brought down in the open field. A couple of yards there. Gain of two on the play. Second and eight coming up here. Archie is in the shotgun. Four receivers split out. They hook up over the middle. Touch! 
touchdown! And the defense has got to find a way to contain this guy. Well, that catch is only his third score of the game. <laughs> I guess this defense doesn't start to worry until he gets five or six touchdowns. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Our score, Boise State, 49, Missouri, 20. Boise State gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They're in the shotgun with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. Throws back across his body, and this one's intercepted. They'll bring him down at the 28. Here we go again. Interception by the defense. Oh, man. Is there anything they can salvage at this point, Coach? Not much, except maybe put in some younger players to get some game experience. This game is over. Boise State is winning big. Just over two minutes in the game. Straight in the middle, and he meets the defense. The running back gets two on the carry. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. Second and eight. Ball on the 26-yard line. Archie is in the gun. Three wide receivers. Takes a snap, and he's in trouble. Runs with it, and he's got room. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. This is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. The quarterback's in the gun with three receivers in the set. Gets to about the eight-yard line. They got a little bit there, but less than a yard. The defense is changing their play. Boise State up by a bunch. And he's taken down at the seven. Pick up of less than a yard on the play. This run was disrupted by the blitz of the middle linebacker. Yep, and the halfback couldn't slip by. Good play by the defense there. From the gun. Guns it in there. Touchdown. Splits the uprights for the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Boise State is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they were hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. They go with a run, and he hits him hard at the 31-yard line. About seven yards on that carry. They're about four yards away here on second down. The quarterback's in the gun with three receivers in the set. He drops back. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. He couldn't shake that tackle. It's tough when you shut down the receivers and the quarterback runs for the first. Maybe they should put a spy on him. There are seven defensive backs on the field in this defense. He hands it to the back, and he's got open field. A seven-yard run by the running back. Second and three coming up. Ball on their own 45. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Back to pass. Fumble. Loose ball. And that's a defensive end who came away with that one. And fellas, we're always calling his name, but this time it's not because of a sack. 
This is exactly the type of situation that this defense wanted to create today. Pressure the ball carrier and force turnovers. They'll set up shop at the 49. They line up in the shotgun. Looks to pass. And he's got it. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. This one's in the books, and our final score, Boise State, 63, Missouri, 20. And Lee, now, as we take a look at our Pontiac game-changing performance, your final thoughts on this one? Hey, I don't think anyone was expecting this one. Boise State was supposed to get blown out of this game, and what do they do? They blow them out. I know college football is unpredictable, but this is ridiculous. Folks, that's going to wrap up another broadcast of NCAA Football 09. We'd like to thank all of you for playing, and we hope you join us again real soon. Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody.